I'm going to start first with something that I should have said at the beginning, but this could also be my last year here because I want to go back to the beginning a little bit. Uh, I'm part of an agency right now, and I went to audition to get even farther in this agency. And out of 300 people, I was one of 30 chosen. Woo! audition in front of so many agents around the world and country, so I don't know if I'll get picked, and if I do, I hope it doesn't conflict with this, because I really <laughs> want to come back here, but if it does, then I won't be here. Follow your dreams, man. That's right. That's right. <laughs> this year knows what I'm about to do since they see a book in my hand. <laughs> uh, it's called Phonetic Punctuation. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Victor Borg, I don't know if I'm saying his last name right. Borg, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, he decided to put sounds to punctuation marks because oh. we always talk like we're asking a question, we're not saying it correctly. Like a period is exclamation point, question mark, comma, uh, quotes on the right side, left, a hyphen, semicolon, a colon. <laughs> and. <laughs> I think that's. I'm probably going to read a page or two of this. I'm not going to take that long. But uh, this is Darkly Dreaming Dexter by Jeff Lindsay. I would really recommend this book if you like a dark thriller. <laughs> it's a uh, show, Dexter, is actually based off of this book. So it's a really interesting book. I like this more than the show because it gets more inside the head. Of the Dexter. So here I go. Father Donovan did not move. His eyes were on the vegetable garden. Seven small mounds of earth were visible there. The heaped soil looked very dark in the moonlight. It must have looked even dark, darker to Father Donovan. It still he did not move. I yanked him on the noose, harder than he thought he could live, though. Harder than he thought it could happen to him. <laughs> his back arched against the seat and the vines stood, the veins stood out on his forehead and he thought he was about to die. <laughs> but he was not. Not yet. <laughs> not for quite some time, in fact. <laughs> I kicked the car door open and pulled him out after me, just to let him feel my strength. He fought to the sandy roadbed and twisted like an injured snake. The dark passenger laughed and loved it, and I played the part. I put one foot on Father Donovan's chest and held the noose tight. <laughs> you have to listen to and do as I say. I told him. <laughs> I bent and gently loosened the noose. You should know that. It's important. I said. <laughs> And he heard me, his eyes pounding with blood and pain and leaking tears into his face. What kick no. <laughs> his eyes met mine in a rush of understanding and all the things that had ha had to happen were there for him to see now. And he saw, and he knew how important it was for him to be just right. He began, he began to know. Get up now, I said. Slowly, very slowly. With his eyes always on mine, Father Donovan got up. 
We stood just like that for a very long time, our arms together, becoming one person with one knee. And then he shrimped her. He raised one hand halfway to his face and dropped it again. In the house, I said, so very softly. In the house where everything was ready. Father Donovan dropped his eyes. He raised them to me but could not look away anymore. He turned toward the house but stopped as he saw again the dark dirt mounds of the garden. And he wanted to look at me, but he could not. Not after seeing again those black moonlight, moonlit heaps of earth. He started for the house and I held his leash. He went obediently, head down, a good and docile victim, <laughs> up the five batter steps, across the narrow porch to the front door, pushed shut. Father Donovan <laughs> He did not look up. He did not look at me. <laughs> Through the door. I said, I said Father Donovan trembled. Go through the door now. I said <laughs> But he could not. I leaned past him and pushed the door open. I shoved the priest in with my foot. He stumbled, righted himself, and stood just inside, eyes squeezed tight shut. I closed the door. I had left a battery lamp standing on the floor beside the door, and I had turned it on. Thank <laughs> 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 you.